The first half of 13 basically uh, was just really amazing. The values are pretty much stable, so they really haven't done much. But what we did see is a larger number of units sold pretty much throughout the market. Better than 2012, uh, mainly due to, I think, with the interest rates were incredibly low, and that helped tremendously. We don't see as much in-town moves as we used to. A lot of that due to the fact that the prices aren't rising like they were, because many people would use the equity in their house to jump to the next level. Um, what we're seeing is more people coming out of the city. Anything under $5 million seemed to be doing really, really well. It seems like over $5 million has been a difficult market to sell in, but uh, under $5 million has done really, really well, um, especially under a million. And that's due to the interest rates and the incentives that are being given for first-time buyers. The only thing that held up that market from being better was the fact of lack of inventory. Hot areas, Riverside, Old Greenwich, uh, we break it down by elementary school. Uh, normally, those two elementary schools, North Mianus and Glenville, was by far uh, sort of surprising, was probably the most attractive elementary school district. And I think we're going to have a pretty good fall market. I think there are a lot of, still some pent-up demand from the, from the spring market that will carry over into the fall. And I think rates will uh, cause a lot of people to do something. I think it's changing real estate all over the United States. I mean, people aren't coming out and seeing 60, 80 homes. What they're doing is they're viewing the homes online. In many cases, they're going to public open houses on the weekends and filtering out and learning a little bit more about the town themselves. I think it's a good thing. I think people need uh, the more information you can give somebody and allow them to gain a comfort level for such a large purchase like a home. I think by giving them that uh, information can greatly help the process. For a comprehensive update about the Greenwich real estate market for 2013, go to our website at liveingreenwich.com and click on market data and hot topics.